Hello, this is Dr. Rafi Romano. I'm very pleased to present you my 10th lecture in the series of Lingual Orthodontics and Joy Bracket. Today we will concentrate on ligation of the wire. Uh, we all know that the wire should be secured and uh, ligated to the bracket slot in order to apply the necessary force um, from the wire to the tooth. Now there are different way, uh, ways to ligate the wire and we will try to survey all of them with hands-on demonstration. Uh, we will start from the elastic modules, then we will show you how you put elastic chain over the bracket, uh, brackets and yet make sure that each bracket receives the force from the wire as uh, it needs. The third will be a uh, meta ligature. Uh, meta ligature is uh, used in every, uh, every time we want to uh, make sure that the wire is really entering the slot properly and secured and uh, without any elastic force. Uh, figure 8 is elastic ligature that is ligated in a shape of 8. We will show you how to do it. It's very similar to power chain but in this specific uh, instance uh, this is meant in order to stabilize a segment. Uh, uh, the next one will be double overtie. Double overtie is a, a special way that we can do either with elastic ligature or with metal ligature uh, under the wire and above the wire in order to apply uh, an active force between the wire and the bracket slot. And the last one will be rotation tie which is very essential and important in lingual orthodontics because of the small interbracket space and the need to elongate uh, this space in order to create a very good moment to do this rotation. So we will show you a different ways to do this rotation tie. The first one will be elastic modules, a very simple procedure which all of you probably do on daily basis in Baccal Orthodontics. But we will show you a few tips and tricks how to do it with these miniature brackets which are very small and sometimes in the mouse we need some accessories in order to ligate it properly. So let's see the hands-on on elastic modules. Uh, to do the uh, elastic modules ligation, first of all we are preparing the uh, mushroom wire which can be passive, it can be active if we want to procline, we want to expand. Now what I usually do in the mouse I start from uh, putting an elastic module on the posterior uh, teeth. I use uh, elastic modules which are very small, uh, can be bought by many uh, manufacturers. And then we go to one of the posterior teeth and ligate the wire. Then I do the same in the other premolar. You go from one wing to the other like a square until the wire is nicely secured in the slot. Now, as you can see, now the wire is proclined, so I can safely cut with a distal cutter, in the mouse of course, I can cut the excess of the wire, because usually that's disturbed the patient. And now I can continue with the ligation and finish 
the work once uh, uh, finish cutting the edges once we finish so now I will take the wire a little distally to fit into the slot another two useful tools that I use uh, is the uh, ligature director which is 45 degrees uh, to fit for lingual then in the mouse I guide the wire deep into the slot and the second is an explorer which is round in order to have more access to the lingual side and then I guide the uh, elastic, the elastic module and then with the explorer I put it under the wing and then above the upper wing very simple very easy and very useful I now go back to the premolar there are uh, two wings one mesial and one distal so I can decide to tie it on all the four wings or only on the mesial or only on the distal once I have completed the ligation you can see now that I have small wire over here and bigger wire over here now I can use of course the distal cutter but as I will show you now even if you get close to the uh, bracket the as you will see here after I cut the wire there is still little little wire that is extending uh, distally to the uh, terminal bracket now this wire definitely will poke the patient uh, tongue what can we do now we can either use a regular ligature cutter as I will show you here or I can use a diamond bear usually I use a flame shape and then slowly uh, gently cut the excess of the wire and if needed replace the elastic here because sometimes the elastic is torn by the uh, bear. Elastic chain is um, a different procedure uh, where we want to apply an active force between teeth uh, to uh, consolidate them together to close spaces and then uh, uh, while applying this, this chain we have to make sure that the wire is properly still secured in the slot and not floating and in that case when it floats we can lose the control of the teeth that moves towards each other so let's see few ways how to do this elastic chain now I, will, I want to discuss with you uh, elastic chain now of course elastic chain can be placed on the brackets uh, exactly like we did here the elastic uh, modules and just instead of the modules to put elastic chain which is very easy but now I want to show you how we place the elastic chain in a different way that not only will connect the teeth together but also make sure that each one of the tooth is actually having a very secured wire ligation so let's assume we are doing now a power chain from cuspid to cuspid so I take six pieces of power chain it is very important to look at the power chain and see that we cut everything uh, smooth in order not uh, to have any access um, any excess sorry uh, that will um, actually disturb the patient tongue so I take the mosquito
we are almost done putting on all the six anterior teeth that we want to legate okay now I take the wire that I want to put inside first I do the same steps of cutting the wire not to be too long then I will take elastic modules in order to uh, secure the wire to the posterior teeth I secure the wire to the posterior teeth okay. now and here comes the nice trick you put the wire into the slot you can hold it of course with a, a ligature director and then with one movement you take the power chain off the lower wing and bring it above the upper one. Let me show you one more time. I take the chain out of the lower wing, make sure the wire is deep in the slot. Sometimes I change the position of my hand so I can do in one movement going above the wire. Now there is one part of this elastic model under the wire and one pa part above the wire so the, the, actually the wire is held by the power chain as you can see here properly and we still close the spaces. Meta ligature. Meta ligature is widely used not only when the elastic modules has a tendency to fall out, but also when we want to make sure that on a special tooth the wire is secured and sometimes even in that way avoid the side effects of further rotation, further inclination or further movement of that specific tooth. So let's see how we do the meta ligature and uh, how we can make sure that the uh, access, the excess of the wire from the ligature will not poke the patient tongue. Well, now I will demonstrate the same uh, ligation like the elastic module, but this time we will do it with the meta ligature. Meta ligature uh, can be from different sizes. I prefer usually the 0.10, you can have the 0.12 which is more thick. Now, uh, usually uh, metal ligature come uh, very long, so first I cut to make it shorter, it's more easy for us to work with it when it is short. I took uh, one of the elastics, uh, elastic around this um, central incisor so one will be to put it exactly like we do with um, elastic module just around the two wings then I take uh, the mosquito hold it close and then start wrapping the metal ligature until everything is nicely secured okay then I can cut I usually leave um, 
around three uh, millimeters of uh, uh, wire extending so I can then bend it so I will cut as you can see here and then I take the uh, ligature director then I bend it under the wire usually I take my hand to feel that there are no poking um, uh, wires uh, because the tongue is very very sensitive now when you want to reopen it I take the Explorer I take this extra wire that I left I take it out I take the mosquito and now I change uh, the angle and take it out figure 8 is uh, a technique where we use a metal ligature to stabilize a segment, either an anterior segment or a posterior segment in order to uh, make sure that, that this segment uh, will move en masse when we close spaces or will not move when we have closed spaces and we don't want them to reopen. Figure 8 is our way to uh, stabilize a segment such as an anterior segment or posterior segment that we don't want it to move when we uh, finish the alignment and the leveling. For this purpose I take um, a long metal ligature, put it around the slot, around the wings, and then with one part of the elastic ligature I go above the wing and under the next under the wing of the next tooth then above and then again under and then above let's see over here you can see that we get a shape of eight with the other part we do the opposite if we were down in this uh, tooth, I go up. As you can see, I do not block the slot area. So the slot area is still open in order to put the wire later on. So you can see here that on each tooth there is a size of the uh, number 8. This is why it is called figure 8. Then we take the mosquito We close. Now, before we cut the ligature, you can use an explorer and make sure that everything is tight so there is a really stress, a really tight ligation between the teeth. Then I continue to push and close. This is how figure 8 looks. Then of course we cut the excess of the wire and we bend it like we did with in the movie of the metal ligature. Double over tie, uh, as I said in the introduction, is uh, a very important ligation feature in lingual orthodontics especially because in lingual brackets, we have tendency for the wire to get outside of the bracket, especially if the slot is horizontal. And in that case, 
we want to make an active force that will push the wire inside the slot. It can be done either with elastic um, uh, manner by elastic chain or in with metal ligature and we will see in the hands-on demonstration both double overties uh, way including one that uh, is called German overtie which was um, initially presented in the German Lingua Society and therefore is called the German overtie. So now I will demonstrate one of the most popular ligation in lingua orthodontics which is called double overtie. Double overtie, although we use a power chain, is actually using one elastic module under the wire and above the wire. So let's see how we do it. First of all, I cut a small piece of power chain between three to four pieces. Doesn't matter. Then we catch the power chain with the mosquito like this. Then I took off one of the elastic modules over here and I put the power chain under the wire. Then I put now the power chain over the bracket like it is an elastic module as you can see here. Now we secure the wire in the slot with a ligature director and then we pull the elastic chain and we take now the wire the elastic and we put it above the wire what uh, this double overtie is doing this double overtie is actually securing, not only securing the wire deep in the slot, but also has active force on these two parts, pushing it inside. So in that way, we um, can even do partial ligation. Let's imagine that this tooth is outside of the arch. Then you can use not the same module, but the second one, and then I will have some uh, very small force pushing the wire slowly into the slot and then in the next visit I go uh, to full double overtie which gives you uh, one module around uh, the bracket. Now we can cut. The same double overtie can be done in a different way instead of from up down from down up this version when you go from down up and then you do the double overtie in this direction this is called German overtie this is very very um, um, popular and uh, useful in vertical slots while in horizontal slot you may want to do it in the regular way from down up. We can do the same with uh, metal ligature. Now when you do it with metal ligature I will cut the ligature to be small. It is done uh, in the same manner but in a little different way we go around the bracket under the wire then we take the two parts of the ligature and we switch our hand in the same manner we did with the double overtie using the ligature director to make sure the wire is deep in the slot
and then we close the the um, metal ligature rotation tie uh, is a very very essential part of the ligation because we need many times to expand to extend the distance between the brackets which normally in lingual orthodontics the inter bracket space is very very small sometimes tend to be almost zero and when we need to get um, rotation done we need the moment to be big since we don't want to exaggerate or, or to uh, 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 put the force higher we want to make the distance longer in order to make a mo moment to do the rotation. So let's see a few techniques how to do the rotation tie in order to facilitate rotation movements. Now I want to show you uh, the rotation tie which is probably uh, the most commonly used ligation in lingual orthodontics. As you can see here in a true case I ligated all the teeth now to the wire except this uh, central incisor. This central incisor is rotated around 30 degrees and although the brackets are very small, the joy brackets are very small and the inter bracket distance here is quite um, uh, large, still it is very very difficult to get a moment which will derotate the tooth nicely. Therefore uh, we use a technique which is called rotation tie in which we can elongate the distance and therefore get a much longer um, a much bigger moment. What we do we take the mosquito I put inside the first part of the chain then I take the chain under the wire then I take the chain under the wire you can use the help of Explorer to take the wire a little out and then take the chain under the wire Okay. then we open the mosquito and get the other side of the chain and then we pull it together so look what is uh, what we get now we get now uh, a power chain which is connected to the wire and now we can pass in the contact point around the tooth going under the next contact point and then connect it to the bracket so now you can see how the rotation tie is working there is one part connected to the wire from the wire it pass around the tooth of course uh, in lingual we will use um, transparent power chain and then from here we go to the bracket so all this long chain apply a force to do the rotation this is usually uh, done in uh, no more than few weeks then after the tooth is rotated we can move to rectangular wire and hold the rotated tooth in its place. You can see more options for uh, rotations um, um, uh, solutions in lingualnews.com uh, that's website lingualnews.com uh, this website is free of course uh, you can view uh, a lot of articles, a lot of um, uh, movies, uh, a lot of uh, congresses about lingual uh, and you can see in this illustration uh, many options to do rotations uh, and elongate the distance between the tooth that we want to rotate and the anchor unit 
which we want just to serve as anchorage for this rotation movement. Uh, you can view each one of the slides as a different um, option and if you want to uh, see it more closely I recommend you to go to the website to lingualnews.com. In summary, we have reviewed all the options for ligation in lingual orthodontics. Uh, sometimes we need to combine with different kind of ligations, elastic and metal ligature. Uh, in order to avoid side effect, we must secure the wire in the slot, meaning that uh, we have to use metal ligature, we have to use a lot of times segments, and uh, we need to think about effect and side effect in order to achieve uh, the uh, optimal uh, treatment uh, plan in uh, the optimal uh, solution of the treatment plan in the shortest time. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in my next series of movies in, on lingual orthodontics in general and joy brackets specifically. Bye bye.